Hi everyone, this video will be a crash course on Tortoise SVN and it assumes basic knowledge of SVN that your SVN is running and that you already have Tortoise installed. I'll show you how to download a repository, add or edit files, uh, upload changes you made or commit, and also download the latest version or update. So to start off, I'm going to download the repository. I'll right click on the desktop choose SVN Checkout and just enter in the URL of the repository here at the top. Click OK. And a couple seconds later we'll have the entire directory of the repository on our desktop and that's this folder. The green check mark indicates that there are no changes that need to be committed yet. And I'll open the directory. You see there's only one text file in there. So next I'll add a file to the repository by just creating an Excel sheet within this directory. Call it demo sheet, and I'll just put a couple numbers in here so it's not blank. And now to add the file to the repository, I'll close Explorer, right click on this folder, choose SVN commit, and then select all down here. Now that the file is selected, it will be added to the repository. And you can put a message in there just stating what you're doing. And after a couple more seconds, the file is uploaded to the SVN online. And you'll see now there's also a gray check mark next to the icon for the file, indicating that it is part of the repository. Now to edit this file, I'll right click on it and choose SVN get lock. And I'll give a reason. Okay. After contacting the SVN, the file will be locked. You can see the lock icon next to the, the Excel icon. And I'll open up this sheet and add a couple more numbers to it. Save again. And now we have a red explanation point on the file and for the entire directory. And that's indicating that we need to commit our changes. So I'll right click on the directory, again choosing commit. And that's editing a file and committing actually. So now we can go back into the directory. You see both the files have gray check marks. And just to show you how updating is done, I have another computer running here in a remote terminal. And this is already set up. The repository is downloaded. You can see only demo file is in there. If I right click on the repository and choose SVN update, after a couple seconds I'll have the latest version of the repository. And sure enough, there's the sheet that we had. And if I locked on this computer, I wouldn't be able to get the lock on the other computer. So I'll demonstrate that quickly. And now I'll try locking here. After two or three seconds, we should see an error. Sure enough, the file is already locked by user admin, and uh, I will not be able to make changes until that lock is released. So, there are uh, quite a few other things I can go into here, and I'll post other videos on YouTube if anybody needs them, uh, especially the configuration of Tortoise or some other things to watch out for. But this is the basic functionality, and it should get you started. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching.